Good morning students. My name is Ms. Prabhjit Kaur. I can understand this is one of the toughest situation and hence the school did not reopen. However, I'll try my level best to guide you through the stepping stones of standard 5 through these learning videos. So, let's start with the first lesson of your literature book that is New Mulberry English course book. Hence, I would request all the students to take out page number 17. The name of the lesson is The Owls in the Family, which is written by Ruskin Pond. I would like the students to open page number 19. There in the box, the description of Ruskin Born is given. Ruskin Born was born in 1934 in Kasoli in Himachal Pradesh, India. He has written many poems and stories for children. Here is what he said in a recent interview. I am shy, but it is easier to interact with children. Just the other day, a boy said he wanted to become a writer but couldn't manage to fill even a single page. I said, write one sentence, later another. Go on adding, you'll find the page full. Let me take you into little details. The writer Raskin Bond was born in 1934 in Kasoli in Himachal Pradesh, India. He has also written many poems and stories, especially for children. This shows that he was fond of children. He felt very easy to interact with them. And when a boy told him that he wanted to become a writer, but he could not fill a single page, in reply, he encouraged that boy and asked him to write a sentence and said later on you'll find another and see soon you'll find the page full let's see the pictures of different kinds of owls given in page number 17 let's label them the first owl is the snowy owl the second owl is the Bernard owl. The third is the spotted owl. Whereas the fourth is the great horned owl. I hope you all have labeled it. Let's read what happened when two baby owlets landed on the veranda steps of the narrator's bungalow. Okay, let me ask you one question first. What is baby owl called? Of course, it's called an owlet. Here, they are talking about an owlet that is a baby owl. So, two owlets they are talking about here. These two owlets landed on the veranda steps of the narrator's bungalow. Who is the narrator here? Who is the narrator? The one who narrates or tells story is the narrator. So, one morning we found a full-fledged baby spotted owlet on the ground by the veranda steps. When grandfather picked it up, it hissed and clagged its bill. But after a meal of raw meat and water, settled down for the day under my bed. Here they are talking about V. Who is V? Here referred to. Here V is referred to the narrator and his grandfather. One morning, we found a full-fledged baby spotted owlet on the ground 
by the veranda steps. Here, the narrator and his grandfather found a full-fledged. What is the meaning of full-fledged? The meaning of full-fledged is given at the bottom of your page. Just check. Completely developed. Or you can also say fully developed. So the narrator and his grandfather saw a fully developed baby spotted owlet on the ground by the veranda steps. What is a veranda? Veranda actually is a roofed platform attached to the ground floor of a house. So here when the grandfather tried to pick it up, when the grandfather tried to pick it up, at that time what happened? It hissed and clapped its bell. What's the meaning of hissed? Hissed actually by the very name itself, immediately the picture of the snake comes in our mind. And here the meaning of hissed is an expression of disapproval making such sound like when you don't want to do anything you disapprove of anything you make such kind of noise or sound and clacked its bell what is the meaning of clacked clacked is a sudden sharp noise a sudden sharp noise but after a meal of raw meat and water and when that owlet was provided food what is the meaning of Meal, meal is a food which is provided to you and it's prepared and eaten. And what's the meaning of raw? The meaning of raw is not cooked. Raw meat here means the meat which was not cooked and water was also provided along with that. After having the meat, the outlet settled under the narrator's bed. Here my bed means the narrator's bed. You can underline my and write over there narrator's bed. You can also underline in the first paragraph full fledged then owlet hissed clacked mean raw now come to the next paragraph. In the next paragraph it is said the spotted owlet even when full grown is only the size of a mana. What is a mana? Mana is a kind of bird. It is given at the very bottom of your page. You can see the picture of a mana. And has none of the threatening appearance of the larger owls. Of course, like larger owls are a little bit scary. But that owlet was not at all scary. According to the appearance, it was not at all scary. A pair of them may often be found in an old mango or tamarind tree. Where it is often found? Pear means two. Are often found where? In a, in a mango tree? old mango tree or tamarind tree and by tapping on the tree trunk you may be able to persuade the bird to show an inquiring face at the entrance to its hole and now here what the narrator is saying the narrator is saying that if you want to see the owls coming from inside so what you have to do is you have to tap it where you have to tap on the tree trunk. What is tapping? Tapping is actually the action of striking against something with a quick blow. What is it? The action of striking against something with a quick blow. So underline tapping and write down the meaning. And what is the meaning of tree trunk? The meaning of tree trunk is underline tree trunk and write down. 
upright part of the tree between the roots and the branches so here the narrator is saying that when you want to see the face of the owl taking the face out of the hole what you have to do is you have to tap on the tree trunk and then you can persuade the bird what is the meaning of persuade persuade means to get somebody to agree to do something or to press someone to do something what did i say to press someone to do something the bird to show an inquiring face at the entrance to its home means here if you want to persuade you want to see the face of a owl you have to persuade the bird you have to persuade the owl how by pressing someone hard to do that work which you are making forcefully do to take out an inquiring face what is an inquiring face of course the eyes of the owl looks little bit inquiring they are like so we can say the inquiring face means to seek an information from someone let's solve some of the questions related to what i have taught till now the first question is where did the narrator and his grandfather live the answer to which will be the narrator and his grandfather lived in the narrator's bungalow the second question is what did the grandfather and the narrator find on their veranda steps the answer will be the grandfather and the narrator found a full fledged baby spotted owlet on the ground by the veranda steps the third question is do you think the owlet was happy or scared when grandfather first picked it up i think the owlet was scared because when grandfather first picked it up it hissed and clacked its bill which showed the ignorance of the owl the fourth question is why does the writer use the word inquiring the writer uses the word inquiring because it somewhat matches with the eyes of the owlet now let us begin with the next page page number 18 the bird is not normally afraid of man nor is it strictly a night bird but it prefers to stay at home during the day as it is sometimes attacked by other birds who consider all owls as their enemies here the bird which bird they are talking about the owl here the owl is actually not afraid of a man but nor it is strictly restricted that it is a night bird it cannot come in the morning or it cannot come out in the morning but it prefers to stay at home during the day as because they have that kind of tendency that they will be attacked by some other animals or other birds who actually consider owls as their greater enemies now here we come to the next paragraph the little owlet was quite happy under my bed here my bed again is referred to the narrator's bed so here they are saying that the owlet was quite happy under the narrator's bed the following day 
means the next day underline it and can write next day a second outlet was found in almost the same place on the veranda and only then did we realize that where the rainwater pipe emerged through the roof there was a rough sort of nest from which the birds had fallen on the very next day they saw a second outlet which was again in the same place where they had seen the first outlet that is on the veranda steps and then the grandfather and the narrator realized that they have come from the same place that is they have come from the rain water pipe which emerged through the, through the roof there was a rough sort of nest from which the birds might have fallen so what is the meaning of emerged here the meaning of emerged through is underline the word emerged through so right there to come into view to come into view so after that what happened then the grandfather and the narrator took the second owl to join the first one and then they started feeding both of them when i went to bed they were on the ledge just inside the mosquito netting and later in the night their mother found them there and what happened as because they were babies of course the mother will be quite worried when a child is lost and the mother owl was searching for the owlets the mother owl was searching for the owlets now what happened when they took both of them to feed them and then they went for the bed as soon as they went for the bed they saw that both of them were sitting at the corner and inside the mosquito netting and at night their mother found them there from outside she crooned and gurgled for a long time and in the morning i found that she had left a mouse with its tail tugged through the mosquito net obviously she did not trust us to look after them okay here now we see that from outside only as the mother owl has found her babies so she was crooning from outside what is the meaning of croon croon means at the bottom you can see here it's given made a low sound like humming like a bee the makes a sound the humming sound the same sound was made by the mother owl and here she croon means the mother owl croon so here underline she and write it mother owl and gurgled what is the meaning of gurgled and gurgled means made a sound full of contentment what is the meaning of contentment full of happiness in one's situation as because mother owl was quite happy to see her babies so she was trying to make out different or take out different sounds like she croon she gurgled and that she did for quite long time and in the morning i found here i found means the narrator found in the morning the narrator found that she had left she means the mother owl she had left what she had left a mouse for whom she had left for the babies why to feed them so they found a mouse with its tail tugged inside tugged means to push something forcefully write down to push something forcefully so tugged means to push some something forcefully so the mother owl has pushed that 
tail inside the mosquito net in order to feed her babies. Obviously, she did not trust us to look after them. Who did not trust? The mother owl did not trust. Whom she did not trust? The narrator and his grandfather. Here us is referred to the narrator and his grandfather. To look after them. Them means here them is referred to the two baby owlets. Now let us solve some of the questions related to what I have taught. Why do the spotted owlets prefer to stay at home during the day? The spotted owlets, the answer is, the spotted owlets prefer to stay at home during the day as because they are afraid of the attack by the other birds who consider all the owls as their enemies. The second question is, where did the narrator and his grandfather find the second owlet? The answer is, the narrator and his grandfather found the second owlet almost in the same place on the veranda. The third question is, what had the mother owl left for her owlets? The answer is, the mother owl had left a mouse with its tail tucked through the mosquito net.